And now it's time to finally get around the ship lapping underneath that countertop extension. The goal is to have it look just like the island over there, give it a little more character than we've got currently, which isn't a whole lot of character. We'll extend that out over here, try to wrap that around and bring that whole entryway together, especially now that that faux beam is finished. That should help bring together this whole entryway into the kitchen from the living room. Really excited about this. I think it should look really good when it's done. Let's get to work. So what I need to do first is to get that drywall placed in there just to give it a little bit of support when I put shiplap in. Those are steel braces. You can never have too many steel braces to support that countertop. When the company came to install the countertop, they said I did an excellent job with the support bars. Shouldn't go anywhere. Okay, so what I'm doing there is cause of these braces or these brackets right here, you can see how they're notched up into the wood and are supporting the countertop. What I have to do is I've got to notch out each of those places so that the shiplap fits flush up against here and runs right here around the, the front side of this because the most important shiplap board is the first one. If you're off on the first one, if it's not level, if they don't match up perfectly, every single one after that is going to be off and it's gonna be noticeable and you don't want that. I'm gonna spend a little time notching this out, getting this in so it's nice and, and flush and makes a good corner right here so that looks super smooth just like I did on the island over there. So what you saw me working on was trying to get this part of the shiplap level. Problem is, is this countertop up here is not totally level. So in my opinion, it's more important to have the shiplap parallel to the countertop so that your lines are straight versus this being totally level and this being off. Your eye will be drawn to that uh, variance. I ran it up top, I, I gave it just a tiny bit of more of a gap here than it did at the other end. That won't be noticeable and that's just to get it a shade more level. Over here I had to notch in these right here so that it would fit flush and I was able to get that pretty much perfect right on. The thing I failed to do, which is why I like doing these one by one, which takes longer, put this one in first, then I measure and cut this one. The reason I do that is because I don't make mistakes like this where I have gapping right here. Normally I would run this board to the edge of this one. So there'll be hardly any seam there. The good news is, is that'll get covered up by the outside corner bead. So I'll be sure to not do that for the rest of these. So from here on, this should go a little bit faster. And what I'll do is I will paint as I go so that I can get up under right here. And I'll paint the top ones before I put them in because your eye will be drawn to those crevices and cracks. And so I'll paint those and try to fill in any gaps because it's really hard to paint them once I get them tacked in here. I'll use eighth inch spacers for tile and it's hard to get a, a brush in those crevices right there. So I'll paint that as I go and that'll make sense as I do it. But there we go.
So here's something that frustrates me. Megan's not gonna care. This outlet right here used to be right here. It was up here about a foot and it faced the sink. So I moved it, cut the wire and rewired it down to here. And I made it totally level with this guy. Those were totally level. From top to bottom of each, I had them absolutely spot on. You probably can't see that, but that is very level. But because our slab slopes just a little bit, when they installed the countertop, they shimmed it up. Over here, I don't know, you can't really see the shims, but you can see definitely over here, I didn't have to cut as much. And then over here, I had to cut a lot more because they shimmed it up. These shiplap boards are not totally parallel to the ground or totally level. So that's annoying to me. So what I've got to do is I've got to, and I knew I'd have to do it. You just wanted to work out real nice. I've templated those and I will I'll go to the garage and we'll cut those out and we'll fit them in. Cause you've got to put the outlets on the outside of the shiplap. So it sits right on the, the face of that. So good. let me just express some frustration right now. It took me forever to find out what that outlet goes to because the electricians that wired this place when it was built put all of these on the circuit labeled dishwasher because that makes a lot of sense. That took forever to find. I knew the other one was on a different circuit because I wired that myself. That one, my goodness. Stupid slapstick houses. This is precisely why we're upgrading everything. So when you pull outlets out, you have to get extension screws. These just aren't long enough to reach this, the place where it's screwed into. Once I put them on the outside of the shiplap. The last time I just found a bunch of random screws and I am, I've done it so many times now, I'm totally out of any type of long skinny screw. So gotta run and go get them. Good news is, is I gotta use them anyways once we tile the kitchen for the backsplash. So something as small as that will derail the project. I'll need to get one about that long. All right, so what I'm gonna do right now is I've got all the paint on the lines right here. And since I'm using faux shiplap, this is 3 8 inch plywood. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take some caulk and fill in those holes. And it, it makes a big difference to do it before you paint, I think. I think it gets into the holes just a little bit better. And what I'll do is I'll put a little bit of, just a dab of caulk on there, wipe it off, and then I'll go back and just sand each of those spots really quickly. And then I'll paint it, I'll paint it or prime it. Usually I prime it. This is just paint and primer in one. I'll probably go over the whole thing with just primer and then put two coats of paint and primer on it. And I will sand after uh, the primed coat and we'll see how it feels maybe after the first coat of paint. What the paint's gonna do is it's gonna raise the grain of that wood, causing it to be rough. You could just take a sanding sponge, 120. You could even do 220 if you really wanted to. I think I have a bunch of 120s. And I'll just run over that with a sanding sponge, clean it up just a little bit, and then continue on painting. So right now I'm just gonna caulk those in, fill in any imperfections. If there's a few imperfections, it's not the end of the world because that's kind of the, the look here. We'll see how it goes.
set up. Oh, there it goes. Here, we saw this. Saw those hinges off. Right All there. right, what's this for, y'all? This is corner bead. There you go. I didn't realize you had to saw it to get the piece you wanted. You pay, you pay per linear foot. Wow, Samuel, you cut it? Yeah. Nice. Oh. All right, you got that? All right, this is for the, the corners. That's your corner bead options, people. Finally got me some outside corner bead or corner molding. Got to finish up this countertop shiplap here. So y'all, real life, my little videoed putting on the corner bead. Well, unfortunately, we lost those videos. I don't know how that happened. They're gone forever. This corner bead, somehow he put this on. Looks pretty amazing to me. I think he bought the corner bead at Home Depot and it looks like he nail gunned it in, caulked it, painted it and put it on. It looks perfect. It looks amazing. And it really does make it match really well with the island. So I'm so happy this project is done. Ship lap it up y'all. We love the ship lap. We hope you enjoyed watching this video. I know he makes it look way easier than it actually is, but if you ship lap, let us know in the comments. We'd love to see pictures of what you have ship lapped. Make sure you hit subscribe. We'd love to have you join us more in this journey of clean slate living. Bye guys.